Hi everybody, Masterless here and welcome back for another episode of Faria Boss Fights. So um, yeah, I've managed to unlock some of the, um, the later bosses which they've introduced recently into the game. Uh, we have, let's see, so yes we've got these three to do, um, which I'm going to try and do to get the next little crystal um, in our orb and then I'm going to move on to the later bosses, however, um, before I can do these three obviously as I mentioned in the last episode, um, or sorry, a couple of episodes ago, um, I'm going to have to um, level up basically with some missions and some online battles to get to level 100 uh, eventually to take on the main boss or the sort of the, the big boss. Um, but yeah, so for now, let's start with this one here, um, which is Dagdan. And um, we'll play with Dagdan. Now, I can't remember um, what a good strategy to use against this guy was. I think I'd considered um, trying my blue deck to get a few jump characters in because I think this boss removes the lands that you play. Um, so ideally I could do with some um, aquatic creatures which my blue deck does have um, so we'll see we'll, yeah we'll see how we get on with this one um, I found this boss pretty difficult last time I lost every attempt I tried um, regardless of the deck type um, but I don't think I actually got around to trying the blue deck so hopefully we'll have um, we'll have a bit more luck this time okay so let's see um, so I've got nothing aquatic so I'm just going to redraw all of these. Still nothing aquatic, unfortunately, um, which doesn't help. However, we can um, we can get some Faria, some magic, once we've built a few lands with a haste card. So yeah, so he plays all flying creatures, and of course he can constantly move the lands. So I'm either thinking to try, obviously, as I've mentioned, the blue deck, um, or. I could always create a, or tailor a yellow deck slightly so that I also have um, mostly flying creatures too. So um, what I'm actually going to do for the moment is just to try and um, to try and build up towards him and get some land over here um, by using these haste cards if I can get some land in um, up and around there. Now obviously he does come um, he does come at you quite quickly in this, so we're going to have to. We can't use, uh, oh yeah, no, we can use both of these. So I'm thinking if I use one there and to take him out uh, and just to drop another guy um, there, um, he may fly over. Actually, no, I'm going to move him up. Uh, see how he responds to that, I think. Yeah, so now he removes the lands. Um, yeah, but he normally, as, as I mentioned, he normally builds back up um, here. So we, we do have a land over here which I think no so we can't build unless we get onto here actually can we now um, yeah so now we can um, build some land up so what I'm gonna do is um, use and uh, we'll get ready a couple of these taunt cards I'm not quite gonna make it in time but I, mm, he's probably gonna take me out and then place a card down on here um, but then I can use these two imperial guards either side, so we'll see if that makes a difference in any way. Okay, so what we will do is just take an extra magic and we'll deploy both of these now. Just to sort of keep hassling him up his end to save him from... Okay, he's going to build towards us anyway. Um, so yeah, so as you can see, we're keeping him at bay at the moment, but I think he's going to dissolve the lands in a second um, anyway. So I'm just going to build one water there to prepare for that, so when they fall away, if I if I deploy, um, hmm, let's see. I'm thinking I may as well, I may as well get an attack on him, so I've done some damage, <laughs> just for novelty value. Um, and we can't build anything yet, and I'm pretty sure. He's going to, yeah. He's going to get rid of the lands and we're going to lose this character as well. So at the moment now we cannot build around him anymore. We only managed to do two damage, so it's not going particularly well. Um, I'm also not drawing... Have I got any aquatic cards? No, so I'm probably going to need to tailor my blue deck slightly in order to do this boss, but... Uh, we'll see what happens for now. Hmm. 
Mm. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that we're out of this now, really. I don't think there's going to be any coming back from this. We can see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that's what we can do for now. I mean, obviously, you can take both of those out. If he wants to. Yeah, she's taken one of them out. Yeah, now we're in uh, now we're in big trouble. Massive trouble. In fact, I think I'm going to surrender. <laughs> so yeah, so this first fight has obviously not gone particularly well. Um, I mean, he, he does get extra magic as well each turn, so that makes it hard for us to match him with a yellow on yellow deck. So I think um, I think what I'm probably going to do is just to customize a deck. Um, for this guy, I'm gonna I'll customize this one. And I'm just gonna remove all of this. Okay, so um, let me see if I can go with a yellow deck. Right. So what we're we gonna need? So we're definitely gonna need some flying. Could go with gnats, but I don't really have enough of the um, I don't really have enough of the towers to boost me just yet. The gold navy areas. I mean, I've got two of those. Um, could really do with some flying creatures. Let's just go ahead and see. Um, we probably could do with some haste actually as well. Go ahead and get a few of these out. <laughs> so it's going massively overboard here with the flying creatures, but <laughs> I mean, we kind of have to really. Anything else with haste that we can use? Uh, hmm. Okay, we'll try this. I mean, we've got mostly flying creatures, no neutral. So the only issue that we may have with this deck is collecting magic. Um, enough magic to use the deck effectively. Um, but yeah, let's let's see how we do. The golden aviaries are going to help um, if we draw, manage to draw a few of those. But obviously, the fact that it dissolves the land is going to mean that the golden aviaries we do deploy are going to be uh, they're going to be destroyed anyway when the land disappears. So and um, that's what we start off with. So not particularly good cards to begin with. Um, I mean, yeah, we got the air elemental, which isn't too bad. So I think I'm probably just going to start building towards him. Uh, we'll deploy some of the flying creatures as we do that and see if we can then move them over to the sides and to get us a bit of magic. But, um, yeah, let's see, how we, uh, let's see how we do. So we can start to... Deploy some of these. I definitely think this is the right idea to use flying cards against the enemy's flying cards. But like I said, the fact that he gets more magic than we do each turn without me having anyone on the, these magic um, wells is it makes it a lot harder. This line charge two. Now this is where we can try and move up there. I mean, he, he'll he probably deploy something there or there uh, to counter that Wisp, which is going to be a bit of an issue. This charge 2 might be good for this. 
yeah, we're going to go ahead and give this guy a charge too. So he's going to try and just cover that wisp, so the wisp can go up the side there and attack at the end. And the land's fallen away, so we can't build any more cards at the moment. Uh, we can get an attack in. I mean, we're only going to do one damage, but, but um, when he does get attacked, when he does get attacked, he's going to destroy whatever attacks him. Uh, let's deploy a demon wing down here just to see if we can move him across to get a bit of magic and act as a like a really small defensive barrier. Okay, that's awkward, but he's at least he used up some magic in order to do that. I'm not I'm not sure whether I'm playing this right or not. Probably not. And if he builds wind down here as well. I'm not too worried about the mace man. If he built okay, now I'm worried about the mace man. That's awkward. Uh, hmm. Let's see. I think what the best thing is for me to do here. It made me worth me incorporating a few neutral cards into this deck so that I can build more land with the times two um, to get a bit closer to him and use some of the neutral cards to deal damage while my win cards sort of defend the back. Gonna get rid of that guy's shield for now. I mean, I know he's gonna get a hit in on the guard, but we can um, we can at least destroy him with either this or this. That said, he's probably gonna use that to take us out. No, he's not. Um, hmm. It's getting a bit more difficult now. Hmm. This is not going well. We can't ever, we, we can't, we can't at the moment seem to get enough land to both build up towards him. And defend the back at the same time. I mean, he's got tons of cards and magic now, so I uh, I think we're done for again. Hmm. Yeah, let me start this one again. Um, I'm even tempted, actually, as well, just to try it, just to see how we get on to craft a blue deck. With a lot of aquatic creatures, as I mentioned before. Um, let's just also get rid of this deck for now. Okay, now let's work out. Let's see what we can get in the way of aquatic creatures. I mean, we can get these guys. And they're not bad defense, but we only have. I think it's. We only have yeah. We only have one, or or a myth maker of course. Uh, what else have we got that's aquatic? Not much. Not much, unfortunately. <laughs> we can yeah. We can get a few uh, a few ruby fish. Just to get a bit of magic with, I suppose. Um, can use those as well to boost 
and to boost the sturdy shells. See if we can put a couple of those down, could be helpful. Hmm. Should we do here? Maybe, maybe, maybe get some neutral cards. Hmm. Uh, probably should. I mean, we've only got five more cards we can use. What would be useful in the way of neutral cards? I hate to do this, but probably some farm boys just to get us some uh, magic from the sides. Let's, let's experiment with this. I have no idea whether this is going to work. Um, I just have a feeling that it's going to be a bit more useful than any of the other decks that we've got. But yeah, I, I could be totally wrong. I'll have to see. The issue is keeping enough land tiles going to be able to actually build the cards. I think we'll start with this. I mean, it's not bad that we've got that down. It's aquatic, and although it's only got 0-5, we've got some other cards which can buff its attack up to match its life, um, or give it 6-6 six, six potentially as well, if we're lucky enough to draw the legend card. It's just, um, okay, he's instantly, he's instantly going all out. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and use that on him straight away. Let's also move this up towards his lands. This might be the way forward, you know, using the blue deck like this. The reason I probably didn't manage to do anything last time I used the blue deck is because the blue deck's bad. If I can get a decent blue deck like this, it should certainly help a bit. Um, let's see. I think I'll pop that down as well just to ensure that we do keep getting some magic on that side. See, so now because we've got... Because um, two of the three cards we've got out are aquatic, I only need to worry about building one more land at the minute, which is that there. So that's a big help to us as well. Um, we're also picking up some extra magic because these can swim around a little bit on the map. So I think we've kind of got the right idea. Just the question is, obviously, do we draw the right cards and do I play the cards in the right order? we do here have to just get a little bit defensive now because he's obviously starting to push forwards attacking us
okay we really need to go on the defensive now but we don't have enough um, we don't have enough creature cards in order for us to do much here Why not? <laughs> Let's play the farm boy. There's no way we can lose with the farm boy out, you know, so. Mm, she's not attacking just yet. It feels like we're holding him off for a bit longer. But are we actually doing anything useful? Desperately do with another uh, another waterland down, so I can start using some cards. I hate that all these creatures are flying. It makes it so challenging. This still haven't drawn a creature card. Their flying icon just disappeared on all their cards for some reason, which is quite random. Are they still... Are they not flying anymore? Yeah, they are still flying. That's really weird. It's like a little random game glitch that we've discovered. Okay, yeah, now we're in big trouble. So it looks like we, we we don't have enough creature cards in the deck. We've got plenty of buff cards, but just not enough creature cards. Um, let's surrender this one. And um, no, well, we were just unlucky with card draws because I think we put in all the aquatic creatures that we've got. To be honest, so just have to try it again. I do I do really like this game. Um, it's it's really challenging. It makes you think a lot. Uh, online battles are fun as well against other people. Although I kind of I don't like how you can't chat with the other players other than the customized chats. But again, part of that's quite nice because when I'm playing Rocket League, for example, you get a lot of toxic players in that, which always sucks. So, um, I don't know whether I should have used these. Actually, I'm not sure how much use they will be on this map. I should probably change those. I know all of you creatures have flying. That is the massive problem. sure what to do with these cards again just don't have enough creature cards in the deck so I think that's clearly something that I've done wrong but the balance is hard to find another one Really, really like some creatures, please. Give me some creatures in the deck. That would be great. Okay. Okay. Or, or don't. Or give me that, which I could have done with, like, way earlier.
<laughs> just trying to survive at this point, really, rather than attack. I can't get anywhere near him to attack. I kind of want to surrender again now and try the LA deck again. these cards and not one of them is a creature card so we definitely definitely need to edit and change this blue deck slightly if we do go down this route like I've said though I am tempted to try the yellow deck again hmm. I think this is where he now goes all out and starts summoning all the uh, flying creatures around I think is it normally move now? No, not just yet. Maybe that's next turn. All right, let's see. Let's see how I can play this. I don't think that was too bad a move. I mean, at least we're, we've at least we're sort of near to him with an uh, aquatic card as well, and we've lowered lowered the attack on that guy. Oh yeah, hang on, he can do that. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, this is bad. Oh, come on, come on, give me a break. Qualifiers now open. Check the news in the home section. Good luck. Okay, so some qualifiers just opened. Maybe that's something we can do for another episode. Not quite sure what that's qualifying for. No, this is bad. This is bad again, folks. I think we've just lost this one too. We held out a little bit longer though. Totally outnumbered, yeah. That's it. That's that's it for us in this one. What time are we are? Okay, so yeah, so we're coming up to coming up to half an hour. I think I'll give this one more try with my wind deck, and then off camera I'll change the blue deck slightly, get some more creature cards into it, and then give it another go. Uh, so oh, which wait, which one? It was this one, wasn't it? That was the uh, wind deck that we made. Oh, I love this game. I love how it makes you think. Not a bad combination of cards to start with. Of course, once, of course, I managed to get a couple of the the wind tiles down. Maybe my tactic shouldn't be to build towards it. Maybe it should just be to keep three um, of the desert lands around here. So I'm constantly create units and sort of send them flying forwards. Do 
It's worth a try. It's worth a try. As I said, we're just going to try and protect, protect the back at the minute. So we're just going to keep these three tiles built up at the back for now. Keep the aviary there, because that's obviously really useful. Um, let's start pushing forward with this guy, see if we can start to get any attacks in. I'm going to pull him back for now as well, because you don't want him to get taken out yet by that guy over there with haste. The, um, the haste card he deploy, uh, deployed earlier. That's a shame. <laughs> that was a good move uh, by the computer there. So we're just holding him off at the minute, just trying to keep him at bay. <sighs> Hopefully at some point we'll get in a position where we can send some of the um, some of our flying creatures out for magic. Oh, what's this do? Great. Um. Hmm. Oh, I don't think this has gone well again, unfortunately. So they're both flying anyway, so... Uh, hmm. That sack of... Mm. Yeah, let's sacrifice this guy. Um, yeah, we'll move him there as well, just so we can get some magic on the next turn. Probably worth... I'm wondering whether it's worth um, using that on that guy, actually, to give him uh, flying and charge too. Hang on, how much magic would I need? Four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can do this. If I go haste there, um, give him flying and charge through one plus O. Get him over there in between these two so we can get some more magic. And we'll go ahead and put that guy down as well. Uh, so we've both got three flying cards out, but obviously he's got a ton more magic um, and a ton more cards he can play as well. So uh, I'm not quite sure how this is going to go. Hmm. Oh, nearly. That's nearly a bad mistake.
Hmm. This one feels closer than the others, but it still feels as though we're going to lose. So you don't have anything to uh, don't have anything to celebrate. Is there some death touch cards that I need? I wonder if it's worth using some of the um, the win death touch cards actually. I think this is going to be it, guys. I uh, I think we're going to need to surrender. Uh, yeah, that's it. Unfortunately, I'll probably customise my decks off camera, uh, ready for the next attempts in the episode against this guy. Uh, if you got any ideas as to what you think I should do, um, please let me know in the comments um, because I'm getting a bit stuck um, on this. But um, yeah, we'll see how we do next time. Um, anyway, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, please drop the thumbs up and subscribe if you like the content and what you see. And um, yeah, see you again next time for another episode. Until then, have a great day. See you all soon. Bye.